So, bout five here at Glove Up or Shut Up Seas. Adam Nichols in the red corner take on Luke McDonald in the blue. Both men wearing the black shorts, but their gloves match their corner. So, Adam with the red gloves, Luke with the blue. Both men orthodox stance. A little faint there from Adam before he throws the right to the body. Luke looking to take centre ring quickly and put Adam on the back foot. Adam, nice lateral movement to get back to the centre of the ring. Throws the left to right, but already early good footwork from both men. Now a short burst of punches from Adam and Luke responds immediately, but just felt the extra power there with Adam as Luke had to take a step back. And it gave Adam the incentive to step forward. A good back and forward flow to this bout at the moment. Luke fighting on that gum shield. Adam getting to work behind the jab cross combination. Thought about the big right hand, thought better of it. Step forward, throws the right to the body this time. Luke, little feints there, bobbing and weaving from Adam. Looks for the big overhand right. Adam ducks, so um, Luke ducks, so Adam goes downstairs this time. Looking to keep the pressure on his slightly taller opponent. The man from the red corner here. Retains centre ring, looking to keep Luke on the back foot. Good stiff jab from Luke, but Adam walks through it to come forward again. Works the body, so those little clusters of punches, the difference between the two boxers at the moment in favour of the red corner. Just those little combinations of four or five punches that are let flow. Steps in again to the body. Luke tucks up tight. Adam pushes forward once more and again. The variety is eye catching to body and head with that right hand. Luke holds. Spence gets between them. All about the jab, Luke just didn't fully extend it. And a good back and forth opening round, but you've got to go with Adam Nichols in the red corner there for two things. One, controlling the centre of the ring, and two, those bursts of four or five punches in a row, especially the hooks to the body, at key moments in the round. It's a good start from both men, but for me, the opening round to the red corner. Ducks under Luke's punch, Adam, and looks to start the second, how he started the first. Luke's got to keep him at bay. He's got to push out that jab, fire back to stop Adam closing the gap. Because when he does, he throws these hooks to the body and head. This is where Luke has got to push that jab out. Adam's corner want him to just keep doing the same, pushing forward and getting those clusters of punches off. And that's what he's looking to do again here in the second. Oh, just off balance as he threw that right to the body. Doesn't want to get over anxious. But here he is now again. Got Luke with his back to the ropes. And it's just those clusters of punches he throws. Those hooks to the body and occasionally bring it up to the head. Luke has got to get his jab going. He's got to keep Adam at range. Because as it is, the man closes the gap and gets his punches going. Luke's got to stop that gap being closed. Use that extra height and reach advantage. But again, the right to the body slows Luke up. Oh, and the head this time, and suddenly Adam closes the gap. And these are heavy shots coming in there, left and right. The corner calling for him to keep it going. And Luke has to tuck up tight there. And Adam looking to keep this onslaught going. And I heard somebody say in the corner there, finish it. They're confident he can stop this here if he keeps the pressure on. It's always easier for us outside the ropes than the two boxes inside, but Adam is looking to do that. And it's a body shot, it's a body shot. And Luke forced to take the knee. It was the consistency of those clusters of punches, the hooks to the body. And it was a body hook that took Luke to the canvas. And he's shaking his head here. 
He's back to his feet, but Spencer pulled it big. Second round TKO win for Adam Nichols. Via those hooks to the body. He kept the pace. He kept the pressure on. He kept pushing forward. And he reached the reward in round two against a very game of McDonald. But Adam would not be denied backing his opponent up. And it was the hooks to the body that finally scored a big TKO win. Good win for Adam. Good performance by both men. Distance of Adam Nichols and those clusters of punches that gets him the win. Adam, congratulations to your victory here in Glover for Charm, promoted 10th through. Uh, promoted by Carl Pittman, how are you feeling? I feel amazing, honestly, I fight whenever I want to just go. Fight for my team, Carl Pittman, the whole thing. Honestly, it's so good, amazing, sign up if you haven't. Honestly, get in the ring. Are we going to be seeing you come back? Huh? Are we seeing you coming back? You'll see me again, 100%, 100%, yeah. Any message to the people in the crowd for you tonight? What was that, sorry? Any message to the people in the crowd for you? Just fucking do it, don't hold back, just do it. Just do it. Congratulations. Thank you.